Now let's go through some different ways to interpret torque, and in particular, how to make sense of this equation. There's two different interpretations that I want to give that are different interpretations of torque, but they result in the same equation. So the first interpretation is the idea of tangential force. We have some radial direction and we're applying a force, but we only are concerned with the component of the force that is perpendicular to the radial line. Okay, so we have our force in the, the darker pink here, and then the tangential component is a little bit less. I've created a triangle over here, a right triangle, that shows our main force vector, our tangential force uh, component, and then our radial force component. However, we have to figure out how this relates to phi, since this angle phi isn't directly in this triangle. I know that this angle here is 180 minus phi, and I see that I have a z geometry here. So whatever angle I have here is the same angle here. So in my triangle, the angle that is opposite to tangential of, uh, force has an angle of 180 degrees minus phi. Well, sine of 180 minus phi is mathematically equivalent to sine of phi. So that's how you can think about saying tau is the radius times the tangential component of force, right? These are perpendicular to one another, and torque is always going to be about that perpendicular force. So in this case, we've only considered the tangential component of the force. By doing a little bit of math here, we get that it's F sine phi. And think about the fact that in this case, we're just throwing around, throwing away the radial component. And that makes sense, because we know if I just pull on the wrench or push directly on the wrench towards the axis, that doesn't make it turn. Only the component of your force that is perpendicular is responsible for turning. So now we're going to look at a different interpretation of torque. In this case, we're considering the entire force, but we're now looking at the moment arm, which here is labeled D. This is the length between the force and the axis, the, the, ax, uh, the, the hinge or, or point of rotation, but this is the length that is perpendicular to the force. So once again, there's a perpendicular notion here, but we're saving our entire force and saying, okay, I only want the component that's perpendicular. So in this case, again, it's going to be D, our moment arm, times force, but we want to relate D back to R. Note again that you have a right triangle, and again, in this case, it's going to be R times sine of 180 minus phi, which gets you back to sine phi. So both of these is leading you to an equation that says r times f times sine phi, but there's two different interpretations where we're forcing either the distance to be perpendicular to the force or the force to be perpendicular to the radial arm. So this is the figure in the book that shows both of these together, which I think is rather confusing since now it's all mixed together, but you're either using the whole force and perpendicular distance or the perpendicular force and the whole distance. Either way, you get the same equation. So to try to have a, a gut feeling for what's going on with torque, you only ever want the component that is perpendicular, and you don't want to modify both the length and the force. You keep one, and then you say that the other one, you're only looking at the perpendicular component. So we're obviously going to see a lot of applications of torque but this is uh, starting with how to actually think about it and calculate it. Note that depending on what the situation is, what the problem is, one of these might make a whole lot more sense than the other. Uh, frequently, you actually use the whole force and the perpendicular distance, uh, the moment arm, or what might get called the lever arm, but there might be situations where it's easier to use the whole distance and just calculate the component of force which is perpendicular. Both of these are correct. Um, which one is easier will just depend on the situation.